Hello everyone! Today I will be showing you how I made this headboard for my dorm. You can make it for your own dorm or your bedroom at home. It's super simple to make so let's just get started. So first, measure out how tall and wide you want the headboard to be. The headboard will rest on the metal frames of the dorm beds. For mine, it was about 40 inches wide by 36 inches tall. All you have to do is go to Home Depot or your local hardware store and ask them to cut it for you. And the plywood was big enough to make two headboards, so maybe one for you and your roommate. I got this super cheap light gray upholstery fabric from Joann's as well as the quilt batting and the nail head trim. You will need a staple gun, hammer, a pen, and a measuring tape. So wrap the quilt batting around the plywood and staple it. You will need to lay out the batting and cut pe the pieces to fit around it. Just repeat this process until you think the headboard is soft enough or if you're like me and you run out of material. You just need to make sure that the batting and the fabric are secured really tightly so they don't slip away or there's no bumps in the headboard. You might want to get a friend to help you, or in this case, my dad, um, just so they can help you pull the fabric to make sure it's nice and tight. Then the final layer will be your upholstery fabric. This is my dad stapling it to the headboard, and all you have to do is make sure that it's super tight so there's no bumps. And then once you get to the corners, what you're going to do want to do is fold it into the headboard, if that makes any sense, like you see I'm doing right here, so you don't have any flaps of fabric sticking out. Now this step is optional if you want to add some nail head trim. We measured out where we want the trim to be and decided on 3 inches from each side, so you can see my dad marking with a pen where the trim will go. This stuff is really easy to work with, all you have to do is find a little hole in the nail head trim and put the nail inside and hammer it on the headboard. So it's super easy and there's about a hole every 2 inches and all you have to do is put a nail inside. To cut the trim, all you have to do is bend it back and forth a little bit and it will just break apart. Then you just fill all of the holes in the trim with nails to secure it and make sure it's as straight as possible. If you have a little gap in the trim like I did in the corner, all you have to do is take a nail and fill it in, and no one will ever know. So to insert the headboard, all you have to do is slide it between the wooden part of your bed and the mattress, and it will rest on the metal frame. So that was how I made my headboard. It was super simple to make. Let me know what you guys think and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!